check it out. It's the new XAG R150 field robot for spraying, hauling, delivery, etc. Whatever you, you, jobs you've got for it, this thing will take it. And I want to show you all about the R150 and tell you the things I love most about it. All right, you ready? Let's go. First off, just walking up to it. This thing is so badass. It's tough. It's engineered really, really well, and there's a ton of consideration for the user and the longevity of this machine built in from the design, which is awesome. Uh, so I wanna show you a couple things. First, you'll notice that the, uh, the drive line of this thing is pretty intense. Adjustable and replaceable wheel options, adjustable ground clearance, so it'll fit whatever kind of terrain or environment you've got. And then you've got this nice push bar up front. There's another one in the back. This thing has, ah, what is that? I've got my little cheat sheet right in front of me. 737 foot pound of torque. Whoa, so if you can get traction, you could basically drive this thing up a tree. So um, anyway, really toughened. I like also the fit and finish as well, right? Cause you want things to be out of the way, you know, out of harm's way, etc. All your autonomous um, drive control systems are under this cover, well protected as well. And then you've got um, obviously your super high intensity LEDs here. I don't know how well my phone's capturing it, but they're crazy bright. RTK antenna array here, easy to access, replace if needed, move out of the way for um, your own custom mounting. And then batteries are protected and secured underneath here. One thing that's great about this is it's designed to just be like, put this thing to work. So you're not messing with wires or plugs or adapters. You literally turn on the battery, slide it right down. It plugs into this piece right here, and then you're good. You're powered up, that's it. Pretty easy. Uh, emergency stop button here as well. Of course, there's a, a lot of different ways you can shut this thing down or stop it if you need to. But um, I wanna walk over here and show you a couple things about the spray system. So I'm gonna drop down first. See these mounting points here and here. Back here is where the tank actually mounts. You can also see your two brushless motors down there underneath. Again, accessible but protective. It's kind of the best of both worlds, I think, when it comes to you know, you want something to be field serviceable, so if you ever have an issue, you can easily address it. But you also don't want things to be out in harm's way. So it's like a really good balance there. So you see those mounting points there, a lot of adjustable adjustability on your payload bay as well, even with um, options for track mounting, etc. And then check this out. This is the delivery transport rack. So if you took that tank off, you could see that basically that rack would mount right where the tank is. Pretty slick. And then I wanna show you the spraying system. These are freaking awesome. And I wanna see, maybe I can get you to with this so you have some perspective of size. But like, you know, they're pretty big, right? It's pretty cool. And then let's, whoa, hold on, don't get dizzy. All right, cool. So as we check this out, whoa, it's so awesome. Now I can't move them right now because they're uh, stabilized with the gimbal, but they're fully adjustable and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Let's keep looking at hardware for now. So again, everything's really accessible. So if you've got to swap hoses out or replace lines or whatever, you can do that really easily. Nozzles, fittings, etc. your valves, all that stuff, super accessible. Again, that push bar I was telling you about. This thing is like rock solid. Pretty cool. So that is some hardware. And I don't wanna, let's see, it was really funny. When we first got this thing, we totally, like I jumped on the back of it and Simon was like, all right, here we go. This is pretty cool, but it's an awesome little machine. I wanna tell you about some other features that I really like about it. I have a cheat sheet because I'm still getting to know this thing. So uh, we've got IP67 rating. Really important again, if you're out in the elements or look, you know how that sudden rainstorm will hit, like this thing's gonna be tough and easy to rinse off or wash out. It's all wheel drive as well, as I mentioned, 700, 737 uh, foot pound of torque on this thing. It's got four different driving modes. So it can run on a waypoint course, just like a drone would, where you outline an exact course. It's accurate to the centimeter, and it'll just follow along that. It also has this mode called shovel mode, where you drive it manually along a path. So say that you're taking harvest or something from the field and back to um, a, a storehouse or a warehouse, etc. You just drive the route manually first, tell it where point A and point B is, and then you just hit the repeat button. And it goes from one the location to the back, literally within centimeters of where you told it to be, which is cool. Uh, third mode is follow me mode. Pretty self-explanatory. You have this handheld controller. 
which I will grab handheld remote controller right here. So this guy basically has an RTK receiver on top and then you turn it on and then this just stays in your pocket or with you. And then this, the device, the rover itself will follow about three to six feet behind you at all times. If you stop, it stops. So that's follow me mode. And then the last thing is literally remote control mode, like old school RC, where you use the buttons on this remote controller to drive the, uh, the rover around. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to some stats, and then I'm gonna come back and show you the spraying system, okay? Uh, 26 gallon tank, so as far as capacity, we're at 26 gallons on this guy, and then a 39 foot maximum swath. Of course, droplet size is gonna impact your swath, right? The larger the droplet size, the lower your swath or the narrower your swath. On average, typical application rate, this guy will hit about 12 acres in an hour of spraying coverage. Uh, droplet size is adjustable between 60 and 200 microns. So it's really gonna be an app, like a perfect vehicle for orchards, vineyards, where you're doing fungicides, insecticides, any kind of application where coverage is key. That's a really great vehicle. For. That's what this is really good for. Uh, and then the uh, peristaltic pumps are adjustable of them. System flow rate max is 1.26 gallons per minute. And then let's talk about the transport side. So this guy behind me with the rack, we're pulling 330 pounds maximum, which is crazy. That's a couple of me. I guess. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Uh, then we got four hours of runtime. Obviously, depending on payload, right? It's going to trigger a runtime. Uh, and it runs at about 200 feet in a minute. So that is like just around two miles per hour, I think. So not super fast, but honestly, that's all right with me. It still gets a lot done and you're not having to do any of the lifting. And then the turning radius is awesome. So since it's all wheel independently controlled uh, wheels, this guy has a turning radius of just 2.3 feet. So it will literally spin on a dime. All right, cool. Let's show you this spraying system. Hang tight, we'll be right back. So if you wanted it to go up and down like this, you could have that happen. If you wanted to rotate, and go up and down like this, like underneath the canopy, you can do that. Just a ton of programmable uh, flexibility here with those, uh, with those jet sprayers. So again, my friends, is the R150 by XAG. I'm Brian with HSC. Awesome, thanks for having me. Thanks for being part of this video and watching this video. And uh, I hope it was valuable, I hope it was helpful, and that you learned a lot of stuff about this guy. If you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with us. You can check out our website, hse-uav.com, or give us a ring, 309-361-7656. Again, 309-361-7656. And uh, thanks for checking out the XAG R150. We'll see you soon. Bye.